Hi everybody at YouTube and I am Michael Buckoff from BetterTofelScores.com and um, a few weeks ago I had some of my online TOEFL course students they were emailing me an example TOEFL paragraph they were kind of showing me one of their paragraphs and I wanted to give them some feedback to help them improve their writing now in today's lesson in this video I'm, I'm going to focus on one specific paragraph of course you can go to the website uh, I will put the link that you see here at the top I'll put it in the YouTube box below the video and don't forget for more exciting content about the TOEFL exam just click on subscribe and you'll be updated when I post new content I'm I'm really making an effort to post a lot of new content for 2020 to help you guys get higher TOEFL scores that's my goal um, okay so let's take a look at one of the paragraphs and I had 23 people uh, submit they submitted to me an example paragraph and there's one common denominator among all of these submissions most of these students they're not taking enough time to develop their specific paragraphs okay so let's just take a look at one example here so <coughs> in this example paragraph there's problems uh, with the thesis topic sentence lack of precise words grammar and development problems okay let's take a look at the sample and then you will see uh, how I changed it so it's a Universal Studios Hollywood is a film studio and theme park located in Los Angeles it attracts people from all over the world because of the events that occur there Harry Potter is one of these events that is held there so notice <coughs> I was I was having students work on a, a thesis and then just one particular paragraph and then a short conclusion the main focus is is what you see here so Harry Potter is one of these events that is held there moreover experiencing this event with dazzling lights and music cast can make joy to whoever witnesses specially in spectacle last month I went with my family my son uh, chosen a magic wand for many different magic wands in addition it allowed my son to cast spells and to create amazing magical experiences throughout Hogsmeade he waved his wand recited the spell and watched as the magic unfolds visiting Universal Studios Hollywood was one of the most wonderful moments that we enjoyed as a family particularly for my son who has won with a magic wand okay so this is the actual essay I would put this uh, between two and three out of five there's considerable problems with language use and grammar as you may or may not know uh, the writer needs a little bit better structure and more development of ideas so here's the edited example of that paragraph Universal Studios Hollywood a film studio and theme park located in Los Angeles attracts people from all over the world because of the magical Harry Potter exhibit so notice I have framed it more because this paragraph focuses around Harry Potter I have framed it from that perspective now notice in this paragraph before there was no topic sentence it says Harry Potter is one of the events that is held there but it's just making a statement about it it's a fact but it's not really an argument now in this case it says first I recommend that tours visit Universal Studios because of the Harry Potter attraction so now we actually have a topic sentence my family and I were able to attend the Harry Potter attraction while we attended Universal Studios we witnessed the dazzling lights and the music cast brought us joy my son in fact chose a magic wand from many different types in addition the cast allowed my son to cast spells and to create amazing magical experiences throughout Hogsmeade a small town outside of Hogsworth excited to become part of Harry Potter's magical world my son waved his wand 
recited the spell and watched as the magic unfolded. As he moved his wand, real objects, such as a music box and books, would seemingly defy gravity and move around in the air on their own. So notice what I did here. This is much more developed than the previous one. And it's typical. The good thing is this student focused only on Harry Potter. A lot of students, they'll bring up a whole bunch of different ideas within that paragraph, and that's also not good. So at least the student here was focused, but just didn't develop the topic maybe as much as she could have. So I recommend for, for the TOEFL independent writing task, try to get your paragraphs closer to 100 words. This one, this one is probably right around 100 words, right there. Then the conclusion, visiting Universal Studios, therefore, was one of the most wonderful moments that we enjoyed as a family, particularly for my son, who became part of Harry Potter's world by using his magical wand. So now everything is tight. We have the intro, we have the thesis, we have the topic sentence in this second paragraph, and then we have we have about 12 to 13 lines focusing around the Harry Potter attraction. Okay, now let's take a look at one more thing I want to look at here. I'm not going to go over everything in this lesson, but for your TOEFL writing, in order to, to really score high, I think, on the independent writing task, there are several important qualities of a good paragraph. A clearly marked topic sentence which restates a key point mentioned in the thesis from the first paragraph. One to two developed details which are clearly relevant to the topic. Cohesiveness from one sentence to the next by using one of the following devices. Transition words, determiners and pronouns, repetition and rephrasing, and parallel structures. Good control both basic and advanced grammar and vocabulary including consistency among verb tense and point of view. So these are things that you want to do in order to score high. Now, for more information, just below the video, you can click on the link. You will see this link here, and this will take you to the lesson. So if you want to do some practice, I actually have, as you can see here, an example TOEFL paragraph quiz. So I'll give you 10 different practice exercises and you'll read different paragraphs and you're trying to figure out which paragraph has these qualities. And then most importantly, as you do your TOEFL writing practice, you want to write your paragraphs so that they have these qualities. And thank you for watching the video. And don't forget, you can subscribe if you want more content just below this video, the bottom, just below the bottom right of the video, click on the subscribe button and you'll be notified when I come up with more content. And believe it or not, I have published over 6,000 TOEFL videos uh, over the last 10 years here at YouTube. And uh, thank you.